Hi. Kind of annoyed. The word would be more like pissed off. I'm very pissed off right now. Hold on, let me see if I can get some light to the subject. Oh, that didn't really help. But anyways, um, I tried to meld several different... Hold on, that made me really wicked dizzy. Wow. Holy cow. The whole room is doing this now. Just for me. Reaching over and turning on the light. Oh my God, that's not right. Anyway, um, I tried to make a couple little videos throughout the day and tried to meld them. I can't figure it out. I'm too stupid. Um, I can't get them to come up on YouTube. So I'm going to start afresh. Um, this morning I said that I had spoke to my doctor last night and he told me to stop all antibiotics for at least a week and then reintroduce them slowly one at a time and um, just a little bit at a time and to take all of them with food and not to take them without food. So um, my stomach's been okay today. I haven't taken anything other than vitamin C and vitamin D. Took my 0.25 of Colin Penn at 1.30 in the morning. I haven't taken anything since and my anxiety has not been good today. I'm kind of rageful right now because I'm just getting sick to death of having no life and living every single second fighting to sit straight up, walk, do with the simplest things. Anyway, I'm going to rant and rave again today because I'm Rachel. I'm having a little Bartonella rage, apparently. I had to go out last night to bring some things to my mother. And then I had to stop at a store to buy Zantax because my stomach was in such distress last night and the Xantax did absolutely nothing. Um, but it was before I talked to the doctor. Anyways. So I went on the treadmill today holding on for dear life. It wasn't so bad. Dizziness and off balance hasn't been horrendous. It's been more um, anxious and hyper and depressed and angry. That's how it's been today. I slept like I always do, waking every couple hours. So my stomach is better today. I talked on the phone a couple times. I sat down and did an art project. I like to do my, you know, do a project before I want to try to do it with the kids. And I would do a screenshot of the picture that I did, but don't know how to insert that in here. So can't even show you that. And I'm not going to walk all the way downstairs and video it because I'm back upstairs now in my bed. Because don't you know, it's it's 2.30 in the afternoon and it's, it's time to go back to my bed. I stay out of my bed till at least 2. I refuse to stay in my bed from 7 until 2. To, after two, I'll come back up here and sit, or I don't lay down, I sit, or I lean back, but it's my crazy thinking. It just annoys me that I can't figure out simple things like how to do this YouTube. It annoys me that the slightest movements make me so dizzy in my head that I feel like I'm going to tip over or pass out. It it's It's so annoying. And it's frustrating. And, um, quite frankly, I'm getting really sick of it. I've been sick of it for a long time, but today I'm really sick of it again. Just having a hard time with all those guys. It's December 1st. Sorry. And I just, I don't see an end to this. And I want to be positive. And I watch other people be positive and it's like, how? Is it just words? Are they just saying the words or do they truly, really 
really mean it. I don't want to be a disappointment to God. I, I don't want to... I know I'm not blaspheming him, but I don't want to curse him. And yet that's how I feel sometimes. Because I feel like he's just keeps allowing this to happen day in and day out. With no improvement at all. I'm getting tired. I'm just tired. I'm grateful that my stomach's not killing me. But I look at my day and it's like, what am I supposed to do with myself all day long? What am I supposed to do? I'm so scared and lonely. And I'm being very out there right now because a friend said, go ahead and be transparent. So I'm being transparent again. I'm sorry. This illness is torture, and it's evil, and it's cruel, and there's so many times in the day that I feel this close to losing my mind, honest to God. I have to... Pray and scream and cry and uh, redirect because I feel like, oh my God, I'm right on the edge. I'm going to, I'm going to crack. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind and that will be it and it will be all over. My feet are so tingly the last couple of days. I've gotten really bad again. Real tingly, prickly, numb feeling. I don't know if I mentioned this before. I don't think I have, but I have to wear socks 24 seven because it kind of, uh, dulls the sensation in my feet um, when I don't have anything on my feet all through the summer 90 degrees I'm walking around with socks on because it was it was so annoying and so disturbing having your feet feel like this joints in my hand um, feel tight and I and I feel like I have to um, Oops, sorry. Oh, I'm sure that made you... I, I feel like I have to open and shut them and and twist and my neck and just... It's wrong. And of course, there's always that little voice in my head going, eh, it's the drugs that did this to you. And every day that you continue to take that drug, it's never going to get better. But I just, I can't believe that it would cause so much havoc in my entire body. I have to believe that it's, it's something more serious. Not that benzoyl withdrawal isn't serious, but... Like, um, I've got an infection in my brain. I mean, come on. My vestibular system is so whacked that I turn my head to turn on a light and the whole room starts moving. And I always keep thinking, maybe I'm not getting correct blood flow while well, your carotids are here. And Two years ago, I did have a sonogram done on my carotids because that was one of the first things they thought was that I had some blockage. But the son, but you know, um, the ultrasound, I should say, you know, showed perfect. Can't think of the medical term, but flow. Then I think because of this herniated discs and this lump that's either a lymph node or whatever is pressing on you know, an artery or something back there. And and that's making me weak in the head. It's I'm sure most of you or some of you go through this too. It's constant 
well, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, and they're, and they're missing this, and they're missing that, and they're missing something. So, um, that's my video for today. I had little clips of me on the treadmill. I had clips of me doing the art project. I had clips of me talking throughout the day, and it's gone. Don't know how to do it. And like I said, it just, I go from crying to angry to want to punch something. I want to put my fist right through a wall. I guess that's rage. I, I read and heard that you can get Bartonella rage. I didn't know that's what it was because, you know what? Two years ago, I broke my hand. I've never broken a bone in my life. I broke my hand punching the floor because I was so rageful. Never have been one of those people who throw things or punch things or never did that before. It was so out of character for me. But I lost my temper and instead of punching somebody or something else, I was sitting on the floor and I went and it was called um, a boxer's fracture. Fractured my hand. Last year, this last um, October, so a year in October, I broke my thumb. Falling. Not out of rage, but falling. Because I can't walk. Tripped over my own foot and bashed. And so when I went back to the orthopedist, he said, you were here just a year ago. He goes, are you going to make this a yearly thing? And I said, I pray not. Well, I've made it a year and I haven't broken anything else. But today, I could break something if I was let loose. Because I'm just so annoyed. And I don't want to start screaming at God. Because that's the next thing. I start screaming at God. Because I don't understand. It's like, why? Take me home. Kill me. Let me get done with this. Why leave me in this state? Why? What is the point? I'm not sharing with people. I'm not helping. I'm not being a good wife. I'm not going to be a good mother. I'm not being a good sister, uh, daughter. I'm not. I'm just literally a shell sitting on my bed, crying, whining, and pissing and moaning. But God's got a purpose, and I've got to just, then I have to pull it back in and go, you know what? God is good all the time. Do I believe that, Elaine? Laney, do you believe that? Because if you believe that, you got to shut your mouth. <sighs> Necklace of the day. Turtle. Who won the race? The hare or the tortoise? The tortoise did. This is the journey, one step at a time. I've had this for a couple of years because I'm um, slow and steady. That's what I'm trying to do is slow and steady. But today, these are the days that it's like, I'm done. Put me in the hospital in a padded cell. Throw a billion different psych meds at me and let me just sit in the corner and grab at my bottom lip, I guess. <laughs> I don't mean that, Lord Jesus. You know I don't mean that, but. Guys, I want to live. I want to go into a store and not feel like the floor's falling out behind me, underneath me, and that I got to get out of there as quick as I can because otherwise I'm going to fall. In the, and I just want to just watch my grandbabies. Have them come over and spend time with them and have fun with them. I want to go out to dinner with my husband. Movie. I haven't seen a movie in years. Go out to him. I would like to do anything with my husband. He has a Harley Davidson motorcycle. I haven't been on it in two years. And be there. Two years ago, I went on it like once. We used to ride in the spring and summer and fall. Take nice long rides. He goes out by himself now. He does everything by himself. He he is basically a widower. All right, well, this was a fun video. I wish I had gotten the other parts together because it wasn't like this. It I wasn't rageful and I was not carrying on. But at the end of the day, finding out I couldn't do it just put me over the edge. So I'm going to sign off. 
See you later. To you, from me to you.